subscribe now. EU debates. It's not about our thoughts and about uh, speculating on possible scenarios, but this is about principles. Ukraine has every right, based on international rules, UN Charter and international law, to defend its territory and its people because they are under illegal attack. Let's recall the ruling of the UN court from early days of this uh, illegitimate aggression. The UN court, the highest judicial body in the world, basically decided that the reasons cited for these so-called special military operations are totally void, are totally unjustified, and that Russia has to stop this aggression against Ukraine. So Ukraine is under war, and Ukraine is fighting a justified war of defense, self-defense, for the survival of the nation, for the survival of the country. So within the limits uh, that the international law offers to the countries that they are fighting uh, to defend themselves, Ukraine has every right to use whatever means there are in line with the international law, to, to fight for its sovereignty and uh, territorial integrity. And we will be supporting Ukraine in this fight as long as it takes. And by the way, even after the referenda, these territories will not be considered by the EU as, uh, nor by anybody else, I believe, as Russian uh, territories. Let's be very, very clear about that. 